Why do you think it is that scientists um, are showing such resistance in accepting the idea of a magnetic sense in man? The whole phenomenon of, of magnetic effects have become associated with the more fringe elements of science or the paranormal studies, studies of ESP or studies of dowsing. People interested in these things have often invoked magnetism to try and explain the results they're claiming to have got. And so uh, it's become non-respectable. Whereas the sense of direction that we're working with has got a fairly respectable lineage because it comes through the good scientific experiments showing that a whole range of animals have got a magnetic sense. And we're effectively just doing the same experiments with humans that other people have done with animals. The, there's the, the sort of natural human arrogance that there is about everything. You know, we're so much better than all these other animals. And yet, the one realm in which we've tended to admit ourselves to be less well endowed than other animals is navigation. People have always been quite happy to sit back and say, look how fantastic homing pigeons are at finding their way home, and salmon at finding their way back to their streams. On the one hand, we're showing that humans really do tend to be quite as good as, at navigation as, say, homing pigeons. On the other hand, we're, we're showing that all of the techniques that other animals use to find a place to live are effectively the same as ours. It's exploring, it's judging habitats, using its memory, it's making decisions, and all of the time it's keeping an awareness of how to find its way back to whichever place it decides to go to. Right. So that system is, as far as I can see, identical to the system that man uses.